So I have a bunch of LEDs that I'm pretty sure you've never seen before. Um, and that's because they're really not for sale. Um, not to you. Uh, so these are LEDs that are used in automobiles. And in particular, these are used in headlamps. So LED headlamps are only kind of on high-end cars. Maybe today they're, they're finding their way into low-end cars. But at the time, these were only on very, very expensive uh, expensive cars like Audis and uh, things like that. Audi, I think Audi was one of the first um, to have LED headlights. Um, they actually uh, tried them out in their race cars first. I think their uh, 24 hour Le Mans car, something like that, they tried out, uh, uh, tried out LED headlamps and they were real fancy ones. The, 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 the headlamps actually steer. As you go around the corner, they, they turn and, and, and illuminate the road as you, as you turn and stuff. So they were real fancy ones, but, but these are LEDs that are uh, used in automobile headlamps. And uh, these were in the trash can. Uh, so that's how I got a hold of them. Uh, so uh, there's lots of different types here. Let me zoom in a bit here. Uh, a lot of them are gold in, in color. And some of them are, are black and oops, black in color. I'll put this back where they were. Um, in different shapes, different sizes, different connector types and stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and change the uh, change the lens and the camera. We'll take a closer look at these, and I'll kind of tell you what they're all about and 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 why why they're built the way they are. Um, right. We'll just take a, a cursory look at at them first, uh, just so you can see them in their glory. Out of room here on my bench. Okay, so let's uh, let's start in the upper left here. I'll grab one of these and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is there's writing on it, and there's lots of little handwriting on it. So these are probably eval units or um, uh, reliability units or test units, some type of production test. So uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll put these on racks and we'll burn them in for thousands of hours or put them under humidity and under pressure and under all kinds of weird conditions and stuff. And in the automotive industry, these things have to be bulletproof. And so, yeah, they go through lots and lots of testing, um, lots and lots of qualifications. So, yeah, these all have numbers written on them by hand by by technicians and uh, these would look it up in a database. You would learn everything you wanted to learn about this particular part and stuff. So. Uh, let's take a look at its construction. First of all, it's on a, a thick metal plate, uh, 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 gold-plated copper. So the big, big gold-plated copper. And then uh, there is a, another uh, big chunk of copper right here. And then the LED sits on top of that. And then there's a, a PC board here. This is actually a big, a big thick PC board. And uh, it is uh, bonded across. Um, and no solder connections. These are uh, uh, her, uh, thermosonically welded. Uh, so this is the plus, this is the minus. And then uh, the LED, so this is all gold in here. And then the LEDs are right here. Uh, there's four of them, one, two, three, four. Okay. So uh, let me, uh, let me see if I can light this thing up so you, you know what, which, what, which ones are the LEDs. All right, so I have some. Um, I have uh, 300 milliamps of current here, and I'm going to put it through the part. And you can see the uh, the part that uh, turns on there. It's white, and uh, it is a uh, a one by four rectangle of light. So there's four LEDs, and each LED is square. So it's one by four, and each LED I think is a millimeter by a millimeter, and so you have a one millimeter by four millimeter light source. Okay. And so that's the way they work. Of course, they're going to put many amps into this thing. These things are meant to be driven really, really hard. Uh, let's go ahead. I think my machine here will... Can I get it to do an amp? I don't know if I can. I'm using a fancy source here. I'm using my Keithley uh, 2400. Let's see if we can do an amp. Which way is... There's on this way. Uh, yeah, it'll do an amp. Okay, so anyway, that's at one amp. 
Okay, so let's turn this off. Okay, so let's talk more about the design. So like I said, these have to be really, really rugged and they have to be able to withstand really, really high currents because you're going to drive these super hard. I mean, it's, it, it's the headlamp of, a, of an automobile, right? This is, this is the left side and there's one just the right side. This is the only, the only device in there that does the, uh, that does the whole headlamp. And uh, uh, before we take a look at all the other ones there, um, I want to sort of talk about why, why you want a rectangular light source, okay? So let's talk about uh, LED, uh, car headlamps. Uh, let's see here. Let me, I'm going to need to move the camera. All right, I know this is a really dark picture. I just didn't print well on the printer, but uh, hopefully you can see it. There's, there's, a, there's a roadway here, and there's, an, there's a car, and we're in this lane, and the car is in that lane, and um, there's a bunch of lines on this picture. So uh, we, we want to make sure that our headlamp in our car doesn't blind this driver. Okay, and so there's kind of a horizontal line here. We want to kind of keep the light below that horizontal line. You take your car into the shop and you can have them uh, align your headlights so they shine in the right direction. And that's so that the light kind of goes over here and the light doesn't, doesn't come over here, right? You don't, want to, you don't want to blind this guy, but you do want to see the road. So you want to have some light down below, all right? So really what you want is a little bit of light here, a lot of light right here, and then maybe a little bit of light over here because there might be a traffic sign, a stop sign, something like that. You want to have, you want to have some light up in this area, but, but you don't want anything over here. You don't need to see over here, right? So there are specifications on, on how headlamps are supposed to be designed. So this comes from the, some regulation, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, there's, there's a bunch of regulations for, for, for cars. And, and so that, this picture here uh, basically turns, in, turns into this. Is that, is that in focus? Yeah. Um, so it says we want a lot of light here and in here. We, don't, we want just a tiny bit of light here. We don't want any light up here. And it can go over here because we want to see, you know. So anyway, it, it tells you exactly how to design headlamps, head, headlamps in, in cars. Uh, different zones, different intensities, different angles. There's all kinds of kinds of crazy, crazy specs. All right. So how would a lens designer uh, accomplish this? Right. Seems pretty weird. So, so here is uh, a design file, uh, a CAD design for an optical system to use LEDs. And you can kind of see that there's a, there's a rectangular uh, thing here. So there's a, there's an image of a rectangle here. Okay. So the lens designer put a rectangle there and then he also took a little bit of the light and, and put some of the rectangle over here. Okay. And he overlapped them here so they'd be brighter. And, and so he kind of, and then everywhere else, he kind of lets the light spill. So everywhere else is, is just, just kind of diffuse light. So he's using these rectangles cleverly, right? He's using a rectangle here. The oncoming driver will be, be, be here so he won't be blinded. And then to get that angle over here, he took part of the, uh, part of the optical system and, and rotated it over. And, and then he overlapped them here where you want the highest intensity of light. Uh, so he did a clever job. So, so the reason that the LEDs have a one by four uh, aspect ratio LED is for this, right? So this is this is about a one by four uh, a one by four uh, aspect ratio rectangle. So that's the way it's done, right? And I won't get into optical design, but uh, yeah, this is very clever, cleverly done. And there's all different sorts of ways to do it. And there's baffles and it's very, very complicated. Uh, you can make a lot of money if you know how to do things like this. Oh, so anyway, so now that we know why we want a rectangle of light and how it's used. Okay. Let's take a look at all those other, uh, all those other LEDs I've got. All right, there was one. Uh, let's see, we'll go into the next bin. It looks like it's the same thing. Uh, it has different bonding. Oops. It has different bonding though, right? The, uh, this one has some flat, 
connectors or uh, wire, I guess just flat kind of, it's not braid, it's solid. So it's some kind of flat solid conductors here. Over here, they're using a straight piece of wire. So they were probably experimenting, you know, is this a better way to do it? Is this a better way to do it? These are soldered. Uh, these are uh, uh, ultrasonically welded. So they're, they're, I think they're trying both of those things out. There's, uh, there's this one. These were quite popular. I know we built a lot of these. And so everything is bonded. Everything has has ultrasonically welded everything's. And then there's uh, connectors here. So these are like push on connectors. So uh, solder is really, really bad in cars. <laughs> really, really bad. You do not want to solder in cars. So everything is just metal on metal and uh, everything is foolproof. So uh, this one has a, a copper slug in it, uh, but then it has a, a piece of plastic over molding to hold everything in place. And then that other slug of copper is here. So it's, it's kind of a, a more refined version of the other one that we saw. And then there's two holes here for uh, mounting. So there'll be two screws that go, uh, that go into these uh, locations here to, to hold it down. And then some type of push on connector. Okay. So that's that one. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at this one. This one's pretty great. This one's pretty crazy. Um, a lot, a lot of copper in this one. I mean, a lot of copper on this one. So uh, probably, probably wasn't, wasn't sold. This is probably just, uh, let's see how much heat we can get out of it. You know, LEDs, you really need to get the heat out, out of it so you can drive it hard. So, so that one was made. Um, and this one has a diode on it too. That's interesting. Has a, has a surface mount diode there. Uh, this one looks nice. This one looks more production ready. This one actually has a connector on it uh, and you just push it, push your uh, connector right in there and you're ready to go. So that looks pretty nice. Um, and then it looks very much like the first one that we saw. Oh, so that's, that's that one. Uh, it's the same as the first ones. Uh, here's, here are some these are some reliability units. These are exactly the same as these. Oops, gotta get this on camera. These are the same, except that the legs have been sheared off of this one for whatever reason, to fit some type of test fixture or something. Uh, another one of those, uh, another one of those. Yeah, I think these are all pretty much, from here on, are all pretty much the same. I just have them in different, different bins. But anyway, uh, yeah, I thought you'd enjoy these. They're, uh, they're very strange. They're uber expensive when they were new. Um, I don't know how much uh, the car, de car uh, people pay for these, but they were, they were definitely expensive and profitable. These were, these were very profitable. Um, not many people could do these. Uh, one of the reasons that not many people could do these is the uh, phosphor that was used in these. Uh, that this particular type of phosphor had to withstand really, really high heat and really, really large uh, a photon flux. And so not many, not many types of LED phosphors can handle that. And this is a ceramic type of, uh, of phosphor. So it's really, really tough. Um, yeah. So anyway, there you go. Headlamps, why they're shaped the way they are, how they're constructed, why they're expensive. And uh, I don't know if your car has the LED headlights in them, but um, I'm sure they're different nowadays. This was, uh, this was quite a while ago. Um, they're probably much, uh, much cleaner in design than, than these are. These are some of the very world's very first uh, LED headlamp uh, LEDs.